Hello, I'm Mimi, and in this video, I wanted to share my experiences with growing both a YouTube channel and an Instagram account as a digital artist, and what I think the pros and cons are for both platforms. It takes a lot of time, energy, and content to grow on social media platforms, and it can be hard to know what platform to choose to invest your time in, so hopefully these insights will help you decide which one is right for you. So at the moment, I have around 78,000 Instagram followers and 22,000 YouTube subscribers. I started both accounts at the same time in 2020, but put the majority of my energy into Instagram for the first year, and then after that, started putting more energy into YouTube. Instagram is great for posting static images of your art, and for most digital artists, that's the core of what we create. Everyone has a profile with all of their posts on it in reverse chronological order, so in effect it kind of acts like a portfolio which is really handy as an artist because people can see at a glance what you create and what your style is. It's really easy to connect with other people on Instagram and there's a real sense of community if you're willing to engage genuinely and positively with other artists. It's easy to direct message people and have one-on-one -on -one conversations which is always a nice way to connect. Instagram seems to favor short, fast content, so to grow on the platform, I post it five times a week every week for a year, which I have a video about if you want to check that out. They're also really keen on reels at the moment, which are short vertical videos like you'd find on TikTok. Although you can search for content via hashtags, it's otherwise quite hard to search for things on Instagram, and content tends to get outdated pretty quickly. You can also share Instagram stories which just last for 24 hours and then disappear so it's a good place for sharing casual content, thoughts, ideas or sharing other people's art. While you can't monetize your content directly on Instagram right now, having an audience there can absolutely bring about opportunities because your portfolio of work is there for the world to see. I've had picture books, portrait commissions and licensing opportunities come about from people seeing my Instagram profile and getting in touch. For me, Instagram is a place where I can share my art quickly and easily to build a portfolio of work on my feed, and if I want to, I can share videos or reels about the process or anything else related to my art. There are fun challenges to participate in in the art community, and it's easy to be inspired by all of the other lovely artists there. YouTube, on the other hand, is for posting video content almost exclusively. You have a channel page where you can share your videos and can choose how to categorize them so they don't necessarily have to be in reverse chronological order like Instagram. There is the opportunity to share community posts which allows you to make text or image posts or even add polls but it is a small part of the platform. Because you're sharing video content that can be really long, you can include a lot more in each piece of content than you can in an Instagram static post and your audience is likely to spend a lot longer on your content getting to know you than they would be able to on Instagram. It's great if you want to share your full art process, talk about ideas, or make vlogs. YouTube allows you to interact with people in comments, but doesn't have a direct messaging system for chatting one-on-one. -on -one. I do find though that the comments are often more conversational than comments on Instagram, probably because there's a lot more to discuss about the content I'm putting on YouTube. I really like that YouTube videos are searchable and can have a really long lifespan. YouTube SEO takes lots of things into account and your videos can be found months or years after you've made them. I still get a decent number of views and comments on videos I made nearly a year ago, so the longevity of content on YouTube is almost an opposite model to Instagram. You can also monetize on YouTube once you've got enough subscribers and watch hours, so there's definitely the opportunity to earn some money directly from your content. I don't need to post nearly as often on YouTube because the content takes so much longer to make, so the pace feels slower than Instagram where it's about lots of smaller but more frequent pieces of content. On YouTube, I post larger content pieces with more substance and have fewer but sometimes more in-depth conversations via comments. On Instagram, I post small pieces of content more frequently when I'm using it and have lots of small interactions via comments, DMs, and being tagged in things. I've always used these platforms quite differently because they both have something to offer. Instagram is my portfolio of art and it helps keep me accountable for creating static artwork and it's where I share my art progress. 
YouTube is where I share what I've learned about art and business with my community. I get to share more about myself and my thoughts as an artist, and I can show my process because it's built for sharing information. Although I started Instagram and YouTube around the same time, I focused 90% of my energy on Instagram for about a year to build my art skills, gain experience as an artist, and build an audience. And then I started focusing about 50% on Instagram and 50% on YouTube for six months or so and was able to bring over some of my audience from Instagram to YouTube. And at the moment, I'm probably focusing about 80% of my social media energy on content for YouTube and 20% on Instagram. We only have so much energy to go around and algorithms like to be the center of attention. So in my experience, I've had the most growth on social media when I focused most of my energy on one platform at a time. So if I were new to social media as an artist and only had time to focus on one platform between YouTube and Instagram, I would ask myself the following questions. Do I want to make lots of small pieces of content or fewer larger ones? Do I want to have a portfolio of static art out in the world or a collection of videos? Will I want to have one-on-one -on -one chats with people via DMs or just publicly via comments? Am I okay with my content having a short lifespan or do I want my content to last a long time and be searchable? Do I want to participate in community challenges or do I want to be able to share big ideas and lots of information? Do I prefer avoiding video content or do I love making video content? And do I want to have lots of small interactions with my community or fewer large interactions? Only you can know what's going to work best for you and what you want to get out of social media. So go with your gut and remember you can always change your mind if it's not making you feel good and you can absolutely have both platforms at the same time. But if growing an audience is something you want to do, then I recommend making one platform the center of attention at any time. I hope this insight has been helpful if you're in a position where you're not sure what platform will be best for you. And thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.